welcome back to another online business realm video. So today I'm going to be giving you a review and tutorial on how to use Optin Monster. So Optin Monster is a WordPress plugin or basically a lead generation tool, not just for WordPress, can be used on other platforms as well. I just happen to use it via WordPress. Uh, so Optin Monster, as you can see here, is a tool that you can use to provide and create opt-in forms to grow your email list. So as you can see here, I'm logged into my opt-in monster account and I'm going to show you the different types of opt-in forms you can create and then also talk about the different plans, how to edit those and then implement those within your WordPress website. So as you can see here under the light box, these are going to be the ones that pop up when people stay on your site for a certain amount of time or if someone's about to leave your site uh, and their mouse gets close to that X of the web browser, then that will pop up as well. So so if we go here and then we click into one of these templates, so let's go ahead and go to use this template here. You're going to see it's going to ask me to uh, name the campaign that I want to create and then select the website that I want to use this on. So depending on the version of Optin Monster that you subscribe to, the pro premium version, you're allowed three to five websites. So let's go ahead and go to the campaign title. Go ahead and give it a name here. So go ahead and name your campaign here and then select the website. So once you've selected your website, you've given your campaign a name, you can go ahead and go to use this template on whichever one you want to use. And it's going to show you what it's going to look like. Now, this is just the bare bones of what you can do. You will actually be able to go in. So if we click there and then we're able just to start typing, as you can see here, if I go here, I can actually delete that text and then go ahead and start typing the title here. Okay. And then down below, you can do the same thing, double click, and then you can go ahead and go to uh, join my list, you know, whatever you want to type there. And then you can actually add an image right here directly from your computer. So click that there. I've got an image already pulled up. Go to insert image into the opt-in form. And as you can see, it'll go ahead and place it nicely and aligned there within the template. And then you can even change the arrow if you want to. You can change the text that says enter your email address here. So as you can see, you have a ton of different ability to go in and actually change the aesthetics of how the form actually looks. But as you can see over here on the left hand side, we have a bunch of different options. So let's go ahead and go to the opt in option here. If you want to go back and switch themes, you can just click this switch theme button here. But if we scroll down, we're going to see this here. This is the email placeholder. So it says enter your email address here. As you can see here, that's the text that's in that box there. You can change that to whatever you want. The email color, this is going to be the sign up button here. You can change that button color to red, pink, blue, whatever you want to change that button to, just depending on, uh, again, the aesthetic of the form. Also, you want it to go uh, pretty well with your website. So whatever color theme or scheme that you have within your website, you want the opt-in form to match that. Here's the email font here. Again, uh, when they type in their email, you can change that font. I really don't ever really change much of this unless it just clashes with my website, but you can see the uh, in-depth details you can actually get down to to change the look and feel of your opt-in form. The next one you're going to see success. This one is very important. It's got the little thumbs up icon here. Uh, again, with all of these options here, you can always go back to switch your theme, but the success action, if we click the drop down menu, we're going to be able to see a few different options. We're going to see display a success theme, redirect to a new page, close the opt-in and reload the current page or just close the opt-in altogether. I always choose the close the opt-in and reload the current page. That way, if they were reading something or they were doing something on my website, I want them to go back to that. Stay in my ecosystem. You don't want them leaving your website just because they opted into your form. You want them to remain here. That's the whole goal, right? You want to keep them in your ecosystem as long as possible. So I'll choose the close the opt-in and reload the page. But if you want to do a success theme, basically you can go here and you can edit whatever it says here but currently it says, thanks for subscribing. Please check your email for further instructions. Now that one is a good one as well, but I've just found that the close the opt-in and reload the page, this one works you know, just as good. So under display rules, which will be the one under success, this is where all of the magic happens. The rule set is going to be a rule that shows basically when the opt-in form comes visible to your audience. So the one that I have normally selected is after X seconds. So if we click the drop down menu here, basically if they spend a certain amount of time on my website or on my current web pages, let's say maybe 20 seconds or 15 seconds. I normally do around 12 to 15 seconds. If they're on a page for this long and they haven't already opted in, or if they haven't already seen the opt-in form and closed it out, you will be able to present this form to them and it'll pop up 
on the website, which is another fan. And again, it seems a little spammy, but I promise you guys, if you're looking to grow your email list, this is the best way of doing it. So as you can see, we have the one rule set here. We can always go up to the addition symbol up here and add a rule set. The one that I like to add in addition to the after X seconds is going to be the on exit intent. So what does that mean? So on exit intent, that means that if we select this option here, if a visitor comes to our website, they're reading something, they're really uh, enthralled with our article, but they're ready to leave the website and they go up to the X button to close it out or the back button up here in the upper left-hand corner of the browser screen, it will automatically notice that and it'll pop up the opt-in form as they're going to close out. So it's like one last ditch effort to get that email address. So that's going to be the on exit intent option here. Now, if we go back to the default rule set here, I'm going to show you a few different uh, options. So you can do after scrolling down. So after they scroll down, say 50% of a web page or 75% of a web page, it'll pop up. You can do uh, based on the visitor's date and or time. That's going to be like if you've got a special event or a webinar or something like that, you can uh, do a time gated opt-in form and you can do that there as well. Uh, underneath those options, you're going to see who should see the campaign. So visitors who have viewed a certain amount of pages, you can select that option. Visitors who have interacted with the campaign, visitors from a specific traffic source. So as you can see here, you can really nail down specific visitors and present them with specific opt-in forms for say webinars, uh, special events that you're doing, whatever it may be. You can really nail down specific types of visitors to your website and present them with certain opt-in forms that may have a better success rate of them actually going in and opting into your email address. Last thing we're going to talk about here is the integrations. Basically, this is going to be where you select your email provider. Opt-in Monster works with all of of the popular providers you can see here. I use MailChimp, but you can use Infusionsoft, HubSpot, uh, GetResponse, all of the big ones here. Uh, you'll select the one that you want to use. You can see here, I use MailChimp and then the email provider account. Uh, I just you know select my MailChimp integration, but it's very easy to sync with your email provider. It provides you with a step-by-step -step instructional video and written text on how to do it with each provider. So very, very easy. And then another great feature is the ability to generate an authentication code with Google Analytics to actually show you how many clicks you're getting, how many people are seeing your form, and how many people are actually closing out of the form. So again, it's a step-by-step -step tutorial showing you how to link this with your Google Analytics account. So now that we've talked about the opt-in forms here within opt-in monster. You do all of this on opt-in monster within their opt-in builder here on their website. But if we go on over to WordPress, here's the back end of my WordPress. You've got to install the opt-in monster theme. And then basically it's just a zip file that you download and install like you would any other plugin. If we click on the opt-in monster plugin here in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, we're going to see that the first thing that comes up for us if you haven't already synced your account are the API credentials. But if we go back to opt-in monster and then close out of this opt-in here, we're going to see up here the API link. Click on that API link there and it'll provide you with a username and a API key. That's what you input uh, within the WordPress backend of the plugin and that will make sure it syncs up your opt-in monster account with your WordPress website. That way you can start presenting those opt-in forms. So let's go on over to our opt-in section here and what we're going to see is I already have two opt-ins on this specific website. One's called a sidebar one and the other's called an email two. So the sidebar is going to be the opt-in form on my sidebar. It's going to be a static uh, basically form for people to go in and say, hey, please join uh, my email list. You'll get articles uh, emailed to you each and every week. Uh, you know, make it really, make the copy really enticing for people to go and actually sign up. And then the email two is going to be the light box or the pop-up one that is actually provided here with in WordPress. And basically what you'll do is when you click on an opt-in or you want to sync an opt-in within WordPress, all you've got to do is go to create new opt-in, which is in the upper right-hand corner here. And then what's that's going to do is take you back to the opt-in monster site to create the opt-ins like we saw earlier. So in closing, I would highly recommend opt-in monster going ahead and getting a premium version of this plugin because it, for me, I've seen a 40 to 55% increase in success rate with people actually giving me their email addresses and opting into my email list. So I would definitely recommend that. And then briefly, I want to discuss the other types of opt-ins. You can do a sidebar, which is what I just discussed. You can do a floating sidebar, which I never really do. You can do uh, after post in line. So basically after the post, there'll be a little thing there at the bottom of the post saying, hey, you know, did you like this article? Go ahead and join now. Slide in. This is kind of like a light box. But basically, it slides in at certain times. You can do a mobile or mobile, sorry, uh, where people, uh, it looks really good on mobile 
visible, and then you can do a full screen. This one is very intrusive, and it basically covers the whole screen. It'll slide down from the top or bottom, depending on how you set it up, and it'll actually be a full screen opt-in form. You can do that with an opt-in monster. So let me know what your success rate has been. Have you used opt-in monster? Do you use lead pages? Do you use something else? And what has your success rate been? I'll have a link down below for you to click if you're wanting to check out opt-in monster for yourself. And guys, this has been another online business realm video. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel, obviously our blog, as well as our podcast over on iTunes, the online business realm podcast. And guys, until next time, I'll see you later. Thank you.